Hi folks, welcome to Chief Kirk Outdoors. Happy Fatwood or Fired Up Friday. In this case, it's a Fired Up Friday. Now, folks, like I said in one of my previous videos, I'm real busy, so sometimes I, I don't get a chance to do this, but hang with me. I, I'll do it when I can. Today, I got up and went down to the flea market. We have a flea market here on Fridays. And I found something that just tickled me to no end. Now, a lot of you folks, especially older folks, know what this is. Basically, it's a paperweight. But it also serves a couple different other purposes. Number one is you can lay it on a sheet of paper like that and it magnifies the letters so you can read it. And the other thing is you can start a fire with this. Now when I was about six years old, my mother had one of these, just like this one. And that's what caught my eye to start with is because my mom had one. And I would sneak it out of the house of course, I lived out in the sticks anyhow, but I would sneak it out of the house and in the, in the yard I would find old dried up leaves and I would take this thing and they wouldn't burst into flame when I put this on it, but it, it would burn. Uh, it, it burned the leaf good. But, and it was a lot of fun when I was a kid. I probably fried a few ants in my time, I don't know for a fact. But anyhow, I'm standing here waiting for the sun to come back out. It was out when I started out here. Of course, that's the way it works. And when I get enough sun, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. Now, what I have here is some shredded paper. And I kill two birds with one stone. These are bank statements and stuff like that that I don't like to throw in the garbage because it's got personal information on it. So what I do is I shred them. Now, instead of adding it to the garbage after I shred it, I put it in a bag and I use it for my solar fires and for uh, my flint and steel fires, great tender. And usually when I'm doing a solar fire, I don't know if you can see how well you see that, but I like to stick some char cloth in there. Now I've tried doing this with just paper, but the white reflects the heat. It don't work too good. But if you put something black on the inside, even if it's just like a sailpaper and it has something black on it, you can focus on that and it won't take you but a minute and you'll have some flame. And all you do is you, you put this thing down to where there's just a pinpoint of light and that pinpoint of light is the hottest. So unfortunately, I don't have that much light right now so I'm going to pause you, and I'll come back when the sun comes back out, and we'll see if we can get a fire. Okay, folks, the sun is back out, so I'm going to have to hurry here and put on my sunglasses. Anytime you do a solar fire, you really should. You don't want to damage your eyes, so... Once again, in my bundle, I have some char cloth, and I am going to attempt to get it started. problem is you can't see this uh, char cloth will turn orange on you pretty quick you can't see it in the bright sunlight
flip it over and see if that helps any. That's going behind the cloud. All right. It's burning. We have fire. trick still works so anyhow thank you for joining me till I see you again God bless don't forget to tell somebody you love them they may not be here tomorrow I love fire thank you folks see ya